Mota Penes, and welcome back to Hit It or Miss It, where all things pop culture and style are covered. In the beginning of August of 2017, Kendall and Kylie Jenner, reality TV stars and entrepreneurs, were both caught in a big lawsuit over the use of imagery of late rappers Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls. The Jenner sisters opened up a new clothing line called Kendall Plus Kylie, where they featured a vintage tea line. Many called out the sisters for profiting off of black culture and exploiting Tupac and Biggie. I think the fashion industry profits off of uh, any product that has a marketable base. So the pro the, do they in the industry make money off of black culture? Um, certainly, I, I don't think that's, uh, that's, that's undeniable. I do think that it's an example of profiting from black culture only in that um, Biggie Smalls and Tupac are kind of iconic. Uh, so strictly speaking, can he take their stuff without paying for it? No. I think pop culture uh, has always, the new people are always, especially younger people of all colors are always looking for something new. I think the big question is who owns pop culture? I think that black culture is, is very popular. I don't know specifically about that case. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to just say, oh, well, they're guilty of anything without having, having looked at the case. And uh, is it ethically or legally there's an issue about whether or not it's, whether or not it's fair game or whether or, not it's, whether or not it's legally acceptable, and that's what the courts are going to have to deal with. My curiosity would immediately be uh, around, around just how much they were trying to manipulate this response. How much were they trying to make people uh, guess or wonder? How much were they trying to make people say, oh my goodness, it's, it's Kylie or Kendall with, with cornrows. Uh, how much were they, were they intentionally trying to stimulate this, this reaction, this response? And that, that would be culturally significant for me. Personally, I don't, I don't have a problem with, with with people sort of stepping in and doing it. I don't, I've never been offended by people taking stuff that I hold important to myself and, and adopting it and making it something that's important. It's the way that ideas get spread. It's the way that culture gets spread. And as you were explaining the scenario, the first thing I thought is, are they paying royalties uh, to the estates of, of those performers because you can't, just, you can't just take someone's image and make money from it? So what do the NHS students think about this issue? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what the law is, so like maybe it was legal, but um, definitely wrong. It's disrespectful to the families. Well, Tupac and Biggie, they're both dead, so they should, they should at least ask the families. They're making money off of someone else's material right. without their permission, and therefore it is not legal. The families of Tupac and Biggie are still falling through the lawsuit, and the case is still in question. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week with Hit It or Miss It.